good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel i forgot to do my intro this morning we've been out here blue crabbing since eight o'clock this morning uh, it's me and my daughter we have a total of six double ring nets and so far we're doing pretty well we have about four or five keepers i have some small ones which i'm going to use for bait later on this week and um and yeah just enjoying this beautiful weather let me show you where I'm at right now. This is our second spot. We're, someone told us about this spot, so we're gonna give it a try. I'm not throwing the ring nets out here. I'm just uh, tying up chicken and throwing out with a piece of rope. So, so far we've been out here for 15 minutes, nothing yet. But hopefully it'll change. Hopefully we'll land a couple before we leave, so. You guys stay tuned and again don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and don't be shy to share the channel i'll see you guys in a little bit okay everyone we have about four or five crabs right around this this general area right here there's one in the net already this one i don't know if you see him he was coming in but now he's he's walking the other way but there's about three of them right around here nice size Oh, I spooked them. They got spooked. They're leaving. There's some nice size ones. Oh, man. All right, guys. First one. Small guy. But I'm still going to keep them use them for bait. We got a couple of nice ones on this net here. This one actually has a turkey leg on it. I have two turkey legs out and the rest is all chicken. We have a total of six traps. But that one big crab, he's right on the edge of the ring. So I'm afraid to pull him up because I know he's gonna he's gonna escape easily. Yeah, let's give it a try. Let's see. Yeah, I got him. Oh, that's a nice one. He's dead. Two keepers. All right. Check him out. Big old turkey leg. Nice size. Okay, we have another big one on the turkey leg. Let's see how good I am. Let's see if he stays on. I'm afraid because I think his back fin is on the, on the rope. So if I scoop it up, I might actually flip them right off all right guys let's see he's a nice one too he's all right mm -hmm. uh-oh he's going to the edge Ooh. Might fall out. Nope. <laughs> got him got him another nice keeper nice one yes all right, baby. I follow you on YouTube. Oh, man. Appreciate it, man. How you doing? Good, dude. I got to shake your hand. I feel like I know you, but I don't. What's your name? Andrew. Andrew, good to meet you, videos, bud. Ah, oh, appreciate it, man. Yeah, Thank man. you. Oh, shit. Look at that. Nice. Right in, baby. Oh, guys. There goes another keeper on the turkey leg. We're catching some nice ones on the turkey leg. It was a big old manatee. This is the nicest fish I've caught in years. I'm like a good man, boy. Maybe take him down there. What do you guys want to do to net him? Whatever you're ready, boss. I'm ready. Oh, nice snook. Red. Oh, red. Oh, wow. Nice red. Oh, copped it. Oh. oh. It's all right, man. It's all right. Hey, man, that was a hell of a catch, though, dude. You got to see it. Go ahead and show you guys what I'm using. Big old turkey leg versus small little chicken drumstick. We've caught the big, big crabs on this here. Of course, bigger presentation brings in bigger fish, bigger crabs. I have another turkey leg. 
out on this trap here. We're about to bring him in. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, check out another spot. Okay, guys, my daughter is bringing this chicken chicken in. There's a small crab on it, so let's see if we could uh, we can land him. He coming slowly, slowly, slowly. Got him. All right, he's actually a keeper. I thought he was small, but no, nah, he's keeper yes. size. Good job. Awesome. First crab at a uh, new location, new spot. Nice. All right, let's throw this back. Hold on a minute. Step on the pipe, baby. All right. Let's check this guy out. Where is he at? Yeah, he's just sitting there. Check it out, guys. Oh, he just saw me. There he goes. No! Ah. Okay, everyone, we're back home. Didn't do as good as we did the last few times we've been out. So, we got maybe about three, four keepers. A few small ones, which I'm going to use for bait uh, later on this week. So, I'm going to try to target some redfish. Anyways, let me show you the way I clean this, these crabs before I start cooking them. I'm going to actually steam them today. So let's get started. Um, I'll show you what I got. These crabs been sitting in nice, so they're fine to pick up right now. But that's the first one right there. Okay, this guy here is a male. You see right there. So you see, he's still alive, he's waking up, so we gotta do this pretty quick. Rip that off. Okay, then you squeeze your thumb right in here and you break the shell open. Which I already did, but there you go. So that's what you have right now. These are the lungs. This is not crab meat, so you don't want to eat that. That's also called the uh, dead man's fingers. So you want to clean that off. Okay, also you want to take off the face right here. Rip that off. Rip that off. That's what you have. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to grab the water hose and clean it out. This is an easy way to clean it before you throw them in the uh, in the pot. So there you go, guys. Nice clean crab. Let's get another one. Okay, we got the next one. Same thing. It's a male. Let's go ahead and get him started. Same thing, put your thumb right back here in the back. Whoop. Whoop. That wasn't supposed to happen. There you go. Just like that. Let's clean this right here. Take those lungs out. You don't want to eat that. Take the face out.
Okay. Now we take the wolf, the hose. Now we rinse off. Nice clean crab. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna steam these crabs. So I'm boiling two cups of water. You wanna make sure that you don't have too much water. You don't want those crabs to actually sit in water. They actually have to sit above the water. So I have two cups of water. I usually use one cup of water and a can of beer. I don't have any beer right now. So I got two cups of water. Also, I usually put vinegar. I don't have vinegar. So it is what it is. I'm using Obey. Awesome stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some in the pot right now. Okay, everyone, I'm getting ready to steam the crabs. I have two cups of water boiling right now. I usually use one cup of water, one 12 ounce can of beer. I don't have the beer right now, so I'm using two cups of water. You wanna make sure that when you put your crabs in the pot, you wanna make sure they're not sitting in the water. They gotta actually be right above the water. So I'm also gonna season my water with Obey. Um, I also use vinegar. I ran out of vinegar. I thought I had some, but I don't, so. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and uh, put some of this Old Bay in. Let's take this out. There you go. Let's put some... Some Old Bay in here. There you go. Alright. I went ahead and cleaned up the four crabs. So that's what we're gonna have for lunch. Let's put this back in. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about with the water level. You see, no water whatsoever. So you wanna make sure, if you're gonna steam these crabs, make sure they're not sitting in water. Water is boiling. I see steam coming out. So let's go ahead and put some crabs in there. I already put the one inside. Put another one. That's three. That's four. Got my crabs in you see let's go ahead and put some more obey i think that should be good let's put the cover back on and we're gonna give it about 10 maybe 15 minutes okay everyone there you go steam blue crabs I thought I had a total of four. I have a total of five. I did keep three smaller ones for bait. But yeah, this is lunch. Can't wait. All right, guys, I'm ready. Let's try one. Nice, clean, steamed blue crab. Oh my gosh. I know I'm being lazy. I forgot the butter also. Well, that's all right. Oh man, that's good. Good flavor. That Old Bay does wonders. Wow. Well, the best way to eat a blue crab It's just going straight ham. Hmm. 
good stuff. This is the way I was brought up eating crabs. Just go ahead and just eat everything, the shell and everything with it. I don't want to sit there and just keep picking and picking. Ah. Oh. Mm. oh man, that's good. That is really, really good. that out there's no other way to eat blue crabs mm, that was all gone that was a good chunk of white meat there Mmm, that's some good stuff. Alright, let's try the other half. Take the claws out. Put those to the side. This is where the good meat is at. That back flipper. That's where all that solid meat is at. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Look. I tell you what, steaming crabs for me is so much better than boiling them. I boil them also, but I prefer steam. Just less of a mess. Some good stuff, guys. Some good, good stuff. I know some of you might think I'm eating this all wrong, but this is the way I enjoy eating them. And um, I'm doing good. Chuck the claw. I don't have one of them nutcrackers, so I'm going savage mode. Ain't nothing stopping me, I'm telling you. Gosh, a lot of meat. Ooh. 
Oh my God, that is delicious. I love it. This is the perfect lunch and it only took us uh, about three hours of crabbing time. Like I said, I caught five keeper size. I have three or four smaller size for bait. Which I'm going to use sometime this week. I'm going to go ahead and target some redfish. So I'm going to try to use that for bait. But uh, yeah, great lunch. It was actually my daughter's idea to go out crabbing. So like, come on, really? I'm going to say no? As soon as she, she asked me about crabbing last night, I got everything ready last night. I loaded up the car last night. And um, first thing this morning, we jumped in. It was about 7 o'clock. We got there at 8 o'clock. Um, we crabbed from 8 to 10.30ish, almost 11. And ended up with uh, 4 or 5 keepers, 3 smaller crabs for some uh, cut up bait for sometime this week for some red fishing. And um, I had a great time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please shoot me a thumbs up. Um, for you new guys, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. Doesn't cost a thing, so... Um, Come on, smash that subscribe button. So, nothing else to say, guys, but tight lines, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.